Shoot it to the right, shoot it to the left Hunker down low and reach high to the sky Got my rhythm down pat, so they say I'm looking like a winner in every way So when I hear somebody say, what a horse I know they're talking about me, of course And I'm gonna be in that winner circle someday Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker A high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of What a Horse And Jerry, I want to wish you a happy birthday Happy anniversary. I appreciate it. And I want to ask you one question. Yes, sir. Have you learned the two magic words? Yes. What are they? Whatever you want, dear. <laughs> <laughs> now that's more you're supposed to be. Supposed to be, yes, dear. Yes, dear. <laughs> yes, dear. No problem. Yes, ma'am, I'll get right on it. <laughs> you are right. He's lying. <laughs> No, no, no kidding. Congratulations. Thank you. I and, appreciate uh, it. And happy birthday. I Thank know. You. Uh, Jeremy was quick to wish you a happy birthday. Yes. Mm -hmm. he, he was on the money. And I, I heard he that Virginia Stewart taught him how to jitterbug uh, yes. at, mm -hmm. the, at the barn party. But the barn party, yep. He ain't never heard nothing like that in his life. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to talk to him. I, we, we got an interview with, with Virginia we're going to show later where Jeremy just happened to walk in when we was doing it. And, and she, she, she thinks a lot of Jeremy, so... That could be why she told him to jitterbug. Teach him how to jitterbug, that's right. All right, I'm going to let you do it this time. We'll be right back after these messages. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communication. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right, we're going to we're going to talk a little bit of uh, about our lawsuit uh Rule of 217, Rule of 222, and the PAST Act, and uh, the fundraisers that we've got going. I know the report and the scoop, everybody's been reporting on them. But people need to realize we're up against a wall, and we're not just facing one. The PAST Act's one thing, the 2022 20, rule is another thing, and then the other rule. 217 yes. it's, it's still another rule so there's a lot of things that people they get confused they, they really don't grasp it but there's one thing rest assured something something is going to happen uh, will it be 2023 I don't know but 
if anything that's going to hurt us is going to happen then, but there's going to be changes that are going to be made. Now, they, some people say, well, they've been after us for 30, 40, 50, 60 yes. years, and that's true. They have. But they, if you look back, they've always gained a little, a little, a little, a little each time. This industry has given, given, given. In 2016, we had an opportunity to really get rid of the scar rule. We proved that it was not being enforced properly, but people wouldn't get behind it. Now, our back is against the wall, and some people are really helping and other people are saying, well, I'm not giving anything. Other people say, well, they'll take care of it. And you got some people say, well, nothing's going to happen. I got news for those that feel like they should not contribute and for those that think nothing's going to happen. You're the ones going to be standing with your egg on your face while the others are standing there saying, well, if they had helped us, Maybe it would be different, but that that's where we are and people Anytime this situation come up, you got to take it serious. You do. You know, I don't care what you know You sometimes you might think something ain't gonna happen, but it, it will happen it, Oh, it's, it's always it's, something. Yeah, happening. and so you always got to take it serious every time I know uh, a lot of people got a bad taste in their mouth because we had a guy come in here on a Learjet was gonna do work miracles and all he was after was to scam a little money well, people jumped in to help, and he scammed the money and run. Uh, and, it, and it hurt hurt a lot of people. Yes. Uh, but now we've got some very reputable people that are deeply involved in this industry, and they realize what's happening. They realize the problem. And we've got a handful that is helping, and then we've got another bushel basket full that's not doing anything, and that concerns me. Yes, I advise anybody if you can help, whatever it is, help a, help, a little help better than no help at all. Well, that's it's just like if, if Terry Terry Dotson said one time said, hey, it doesn't matter if it's a dollar or ten dollars, every penny helps. Yes, and we've got some people that are really digging down deep in their pocket to help, and then we've got some others just saying, oh well. I'll be all right. Well, I, I, I've got a feeling about that. And, uh, I That's know what I you call so-called horse people. Well, they're so-called horse people, but you see them in the winter circle a lot. Yeah. And uh, the thing I'm, I'm saying is if, if they cannot help, then I just assume them not show. Uh, I just assume them not be in the industry. Yes. And, I mean, people get mad at me if they want to. But... Uh, Facts are facts. This this is something that if you love the horse, yes, then you get in there and you get off in the water and you wait a little bit. The other day we, we had something happen that uh, it kind of tickled me. We had a, we had a veterinarian that I put a phone system in for him, met him at the celebration, and he says, you know, I ain't rode a horse in 25 years. He said, and I I would really love to ride a padded horse. So I said. I got one, <laughs> and I want everybody to watch this because we we let Chris Bevins come down, and he got on on the slide, and away he went, and then he ended up staying half the day, didn't he? Yes, he stayed a pretty good while there. <laughs> he told me he said that, that he hadn't had that much fun. He didn't know when, but uh, I can tell you right now, he hadn't lost a step in 25 years. <laughs> He done a real good job there. I thought he did too. I mean, he he uh he just uh, got on, took right to it. Yeah. Something tells me he, he's going to be back. He's going to end up wanting him one because he he uh he likes to come to the shows, likes to watch, and uh he's in good standing with his employees because we put in that phone system. They said that they'd never seen nothing like that. And they, they patted him on the back. That made him feel good. <laughs> but he, nah, he stayed pretty good while there at the point there. Well, he told me, he said, Rick, he'll let me stay a while. I said, he'll probably let you stay all day if you want to. But I, I thought he did a good job right. Yeah. He did do a good job. 
Well, that slide's one of those that anybody, Any, anybody in Granny, can ride, yeah. Anybody in Granny can get on him, and he's just going to take you on down I tell you, that horse is what you call a good amateur and trained horse. You can oh, take yeah. him home and ride him yourself and fool with him. And he, oh, he'd, he'd be good for a, a for lesson horse. Lesson horse and uh, teach you how to ride. And, they can, they, because he can do it. He can carry yeah. it, too. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing he can do. All right, and we've got uh, everybody. I, I told everybody to send their videos in. And we've got some more back there we're working on, but Jeremy's got one out there at your barn that he rides, and he, he rides him for me. But I'm going to tell everybody, when you see this horse, I just went in and said, can I see him? I need just to get a little video of him. I'll tell anybody, you can come any day, and this is what you're going to see. Yes. That, that's a fact. All you got to do is say, come in. I want to see, sir. This is what you're going to see when you watch him, because he he does not change. He just uh, he is what you call. He's got it all. He he's a nice horse, and he's getting better and better as he get older. Oh yeah, that's one good thing that he he does. He's getting better and better. We had a tail set issue that I think we've got we've got that solved now though. He's better but this horse right here that's they told me that was with a two or a three and uh just letting him work in gear working gear, working yep. gear a training gear you drop a six on him yeah he, he, he's gonna drop a little lower but that back end that's the same one that i put the video out on when he was a baby walking by his mother yes and uh he that back end is it's far real <laughs> He just gets it done. All right, one other thing. We went to Dr. Bennett's Tuesday night, and for his annual dinner, it was fantastic. It was a good night. Yes. Dr. Bennett always does good. But he also brought a new uh, veterinarian in, Dr. Holly Hall. And uh, now she, she's... She's, she's a real she, nice person. She, she's nice. She's yeah. very friendly, easy to get along mm -hmm. with, easy to talk to. So we got an interview with her. Let's listen to that right quick. We are here at Equine Services annual dinner, and I am with the newest vet in town, Dr. Holly Hall. How are you doing this evening? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing just fine. How do you like Shelville so far? I love it. It's you great. like it here? Yes. All right. Beautiful. And we found out that you're married, no children, but you just graduated. I did just graduate. So this, this is May. this is your first place that you've worked is yes. with Dr. Bennett now. Yep. You mm -hmm. like it out there? I do. I work under some awesome doctors. So. Dr. Bennett's a pretty good guy. Yep. I've, I've had him as a vet for, I guess, 20 years or more. Probably. Yeah. Where did you go to school me. at? I went to Ross University and I finished at Texas A&M. Texas A&M, Aggies. Yep. Is that right? <laughs> they got beat, I think. <laughs> they're Probably, in the SEC. Well, no, they're in the <laughs> SEC now. Well, tell, tell me some of your background. Where, where you're from? Where are you born? Let people know who you are. Okay, um, I am from East Tennessee. I was born in California until I was about 10. I lived there, um, got into horses there. I moved when I was 10 to East Tennessee, Chattanooga, Cleveland area. Um, I went to University of Tennessee at Martin for college. Um, I was on the rodeo team there for two years. Um, and then I got accepted to Ross University um, straight out of school. So went there for three years and then finished my fourth year at Texas A&M. Okay. Well, what drew you to Tennessee? Was it the walking horse? <laughs> Family <laughs> obligations. Um, and I just loved, there was so much more horse experience here compared to California, a lot of more opportunities, so. She ain't gonna let me put her on the spot about the walking horses, though. If, if you was in the rodeo, you were into quarter horses. I was, <laughs> I like walking horses, mm -hmm. though. Well, I that do. man coming in over there, he does too, but oh, yeah. he, he, he services them all. That's why everybody comes to him. That's why it's a, he, he's a good person to work on. Right, That's why. yes, and I want to learn all that I can about them, so. So what's some of your, is there one line that you specialize in or? No, or just... I have a lot of things that I'm interested in. Um, I love lameness. So that's kind of what I'm focusing on right now. But with breeding season coming up, <laughs> I will be focusing on that as well. So. <laughs> well, everybody focuses on that. So you're at the clinic every day? Um, so 
clinic is home base for me, but I do m most of the ambulatory right now and um, half of the emergency. So okay. I'm doing farm calls anytime I have appointments, I'm doing farm calls. And then if not, um, I either have Holland appointments or I kind of shadow the other doctors if I'm not full that day. So. Okay. All right. Well, you've heard it, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Holly Hall. She's new at Equine Services. So you need someone, give her a call. All right, welcome back. Uh, what did you think? I think pretty good, <laughs> real good. I think I think Dr. Hall, as I'm going to call her, <laughs> I, I like doing that. Yeah, she's a lot younger, but now I believe she's going to do just fine. There's one other thing. We've got another three-year-old that I will send a video of. Now this will be a three-year-old for next year, but uh, it's a pretty nice horse too. So. To show this one. All right. What did you think about her? A good horse. Hey, good. That's all we. That's really all we good. got in Tennessee is good walking horses. So I'm going to do it this time. I'll let you do it last time. There you go. And, and eventually you're going to get it right. <laughs> hey, what what did the guy say? Which one y'all going to do it? <laughs> we'll be right back after we take a short pause for our sponsors. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. The Tennessee Walking Horse is a perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. You did a okay. good job. Are you, I, you, know, are you learning? <laughs> well, I think I might can teach you a little bit more. You know, <laughs> oh, you're going to teach me something. Yeah, right. I think I might okay. teach you we'll this get to it. When we were out, Dr. Bennett, I also interviewed Dr. Bennett, which that's, that's always a pleasure to do. And he has always been one that when we educate people on what a horse, I can call Dr. Bennett or Dr. Mullins, either one, and they're always willing to help do whatever it takes to help our industry. Yes, they are. And that's one thing I can tell everybody. We, the places we go, nobody pays to see what a horse. It's open to the public. That's who we want to show our horse to yes. and, and educate to our horse. And talking to Dr. Bennett is always a pleasure. And we have an interview with him, which we'll show right now. Now I am with Dr. Bennett, who is the veterinarian that puts this little dinner on every year glad to be here well thank you for coming yeah yeah we uh, 
kind of ran out of space at the office, so we moved it over here. We got more parking and uh, warmer. You never know what the weather's going to be, but tonight's about 70 degrees. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, but, but you got good of, food, too. Oh, got great food. Tony does a great job, you know, just a chance to give back to the people that we uh, love to work for and the horses and that we get to work on and just an opportunity to fellowship with people. Well, I know I've already run into a bunch. I know we interviewed Dr. Holly Hall. She's yes. real nice. She was she's tickled to be with, working yes, with you. Yes. So yes. she seems she's like a, she's going to be a good one. She is. She's a recent graduate, as she probably told you, from Texas A&M. Yep. And uh, from I called her an Aggie. That's right. That's right. <laughs> she's doing better for us than the football team's done down there. I think. So, <laughs> so we're pleased true. with that. Uh, yeah. She and, does. Uh, she'll do a good job. She's I know done a great she, job. She's talked to she's Jerry. A, She's our uh, ambulatory clinician, goes right. out on the farm, so mm -hmm. that helps a lot. And uh, doing, a, doing a great job, doing a great right. job. So, well, t well, tell uh, me some of the things y'all got planned for the year. I know we're coming into a new year now. Yeah, boy, this year's gone by quick. You know, the next year uh, seems like the breeding of the different breeds of horses that we work on is, uh, increases every year, whether it's cool semen or frozen semen, um, show horses. Show season's gone really good this year for all the different breeds of horses. Um, seem like there's not a break anymore. There's a, some kind of competition going on with well, these horses um, every weekend. Yeah. Well, every time I'm out there, I see different breeds. Yeah. And that's that's one of the things I know that really draws them too. It's like Holly, I'm, I, she had to be quarter horse when she come. Right. But she, see, she liked walking horse too. Yes. Yes. Well, I don't know if anybody once they get here, uh, if they haven't been around the walking horses just don't fall in love with them because they're 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 so sweet so gentle uh very stoic uh, you know you take the politics out of it and it's uh it's just a great breed to be around and the added benefit is the people that own them are just super mm -hmm. uh, that's not putting the other breeds down but uh, there's great people in all different breeds but as a whole the walking horse community and the walking horses uh, just hard to beat. They seem to kind of mesh and get together to help each other. It's just like tonight, more and more people are coming in. This place will be packed for the night, so we Yes, I feel like uh, it. Another thing, going back to your uh, the last conversation, is is if we've got a quarter horse out there or saddlebred or whatever breed and a walking horse comes in, those people just bond. It, it's not a it's no. not about the it's about the love of the horse and that's what this is about tonight we love the horse we love our people that we work for um, and just a chance to be thankful for the opportunity to do it i've been well blessed and it's just a chance for us as a team dr menon hall myself and dr hall dr mullins to kind of give back well i've met a lot of different people from different breeds Everybody just gets together. They love to pet on the walking horse. That's I love to pet on the court. I mean, <laughs> hey, a correct. horse is a horse. That's right. We love them all. That's right. And we had a special surprise came in today. I think Dr. Menhall actually worked on it, but a reindeer came in. A reindeer? Yes, yes. And he was a little uh, stressed out with the temperature being in the high 60s. He was he was out of his element. But, wasn't uh, expecting that, was wasn't he? Wasn't expecting that. So you never know what's going to walk through the door out there. As you well know, so you've been there. So. Horses, horse, yes, and I played catch with the dog. Yes, yeah, he's got to be our uh, mascot, I guess. Well, he's, well, he's uh, very particular, though. It's only one stick. Yep. If he lays that stick down, don't kick another one because he's wanting that's that That's right, one. that's right. He'll stare you down. That's too, right, he'll yeah, stare yeah, you yeah, down. Very sweet. French bulldog, for anybody that doesn't know, but he belongs to one of our assistant, vet assistants, and um, he loves to play fetch. Oh, yeah, yes. he does. Yes, he will wear you down. Well, Dr. Bennett, I appreciate you having us here tonight. Looking forward to look great food. Looking forward to a good presentation. Yes. And uh, I'll be. Well, I want to thank you, too, for coming out and helping us. And well, I enjoy and all the support you've done for all of us. Hey, I, yeah. I enjoy yes. it. I love the horse. Yes. You know, he, 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 uh, very smart man. Hey, he, he, if you go out there and watch everything they do, and he told me then that anytime you want to do an educational video, come on, I want to go out there and do one about our hooves yes. and, and lameness. And he's just the one to do it. And that's what Dr. Holly Hall, that's what she specializes in yes. is lameness. So that'd be another one that we could include in with the education right. video. All right, we're going to go back now, Jerry. We've got to do Horse of the Year. I love doing these because yes. these are some that's just great. Here we go. I'm Coach Cal and Allie Joe Jacobs. 
Now she was reserved in the pleasure horse division. And I'm gonna tell you, that young lady showed a lot during the year, and that, that means a lot. That means, and that it means does. a lot. Get out there, she represents the industry well, very well. Yeah. That's the future. Everybody better be watching them because these kids, they're the ones that's going to take us into the future. That's and right. The better riders they are, the better it is. There's Dark Rain and Taylor Walters. I love this horse. I don't care what they say, I love him. I would have tied him first in every class I saw him in this year simply because that right there is what we saw. Every time you see him, that horse doing the same year. I wish I had a bowling full of horses like oh, that. Oh Lord, I do too. Because that horse right there can just get it done. I like it because it's got the reach, got the back end, and the head got shake. The head shake. And right, Great and Beach. There's another good one. Got it all, and Jake Jacobs. Now Jake is one of these that will do anything to help any show. Yes. He told me one time, he said, if you ever need me and you don't call me, that'll be the first time we don't get along. And, and he's very sincere. He wants to help. He wants to help the industry, wants to be a part of it. And he's willing to help any shows. He has helped do tracks. He's come in and cleaned up tracks. Uh, he told me, he said, if you'll let me fix that track and clean up afterwards, I'll help on your show. If you won't let me do that, I ain't helping. <laughs> Now there's Mr. Heisman and Bruce McDonald, another ambassador, both of them. Yes. Horse and rider right here. They represent the industry well, very well. does a great job on that horse. Oh, he does. He does. Robin rode that horse. Yeah, he did. She, she did a flat ride. That's a great horse. He just uh, gets it done. That was gets one wide different divisions. Yeah. Right here is Cavender. I'm predicting right there that your next four-year-old world grand champion right there. I truly believe that. That's, oh, that's it could be a world one. grand champion. Yeah. You know a lot of these four-year-olds going in these right, classes, you don't never know. You don't know what he's doing. That right there is one yeah. that can tote the note, buddy.
Ox knows how to get it done. Yeah. I watched him in his first show was at Thor Sports, and you could tell that horse had talent. Right there, Manny. Now they was in a tie with her mother. Yes. <laughs> That's a pretty thing. That is. That's a good horse. Taylor can play it right, that's one thing. Just put her foot in the stirrup and let her swing a leg over one and she'll take him to the, to the winner's circle. He can just watch her. Right there, she's limitless in Molly Walters, your lady amateur special adventure that tie with Manny. Yep. That's all right. You, I mean, you got both of them from the same family, mother, daughter. Mm -hmm. They tied. That's good. Right there, uptight Jose, another good one. That horse been around a while. Yes. I think he, he's getting on up close to the classic horse division. He's a good one. He, he just, Bruce is laid back. He will help you any way yes. he can. But he, he does not get excited, really. He no. really does. Here's Honey Bee and Taylor Walters. Owner amateur four-year-old marriage guild in section A winner to celebration and amateur four-year-old marriage guild in reserve winner. But now there ain't no second seat on her. No, I ain't. <laughs>
Honey Bee. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Right, Mr. True Blue, R.M. Kelly, trainer of the year. Yep. What do you think about that? Well deserved. It is. Well deserved. Well deserved. He's done a great job. There's no doubt about it. He has done hey, a good man, job. Come back. A long way. Right oh, there. Hey. You've come a long ways. When you got a young trainer that keeps building, 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 building like R.M. has, and they reach the top. To me, that's just fantastic. You know, with him and then Spencer, you know, got the experience like Spencer have, they, they can put that together. I mean, they, they that's a super team right there. Hey, there's a lot of knowledge that from is. the ground. Mm -hmm. Mr. True Blue. Right here's one, honor and remembering. Now that horse right there, it keeps getting better. Oh yeah, better. he does. You can see the difference between when he first showed him to you doing now. He's yeah. better every year. He got every show he get better. Well, I know Kim Lewis and George both for just tickled to death with that horse. But now, hey, Dan has done a great job. Dan's got some good ones. Out oh yeah, Dan got some real good horses. Out honor there. and remember is definitely one of them. We you just, know him and Winky out there together. So yeah. I mean that helps each other. Oh yeah, out real well. We'll be seeing a lot of that horse right there, I can tell you. Right there. You just keep doing it. Yep. Yeah, when well, you got two trainers out there together, you can help each other. Well, when they give each other pointers oh, and, yeah. and suggestions, it always helps. Yeah, you do it right. But when you got a real good horse, that helps a lot. <laughs> you got that that's, right there, that's right there. Yeah. What you want first is a real good horse. Epic. Now, just like I told him, this wouldn't be horse of the year without it. Yes. I mean, you're talking about one good horse. And I'm, I'm just going to tell Mike that I'm not going to go through all the honors this horse has won because I ain't got time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he won a bunch. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think he said somebody pretty interesting almost got him sold. Well, that'd be good. I mean, that'd be good for the industry. Yeah. So there's a lot of people want one they can go out and win on. Yeah. A lot of people that try to buy one to beat him, and I don't think they have done it yet. Not, but they, they keep trying. Yeah. Here's Cole Hahn and Allie Joe, another good horse. Now her, her dad bought her the perfect horse for her. Yes. Little bitty thing on a great big horse right there makes one heck of a statement. And it makes it loud and clear. Very loud and yep. very clear.
just walk it. That says a lot for that horse and her. Oh yes, yes. yes. Well, it makes a statement for the industry. Yes. Great, great image is what that is, is a fantastic image for our industry and our kids and our horses. And right here, here's another one. Oh yeah. It's the medalist. It's the medalist, as James would say. And Eli. And little Eli now, he can plant right. Oh yeah, he can. We just keep going, buddy. That class there gets bigger and bigger every year and a lot more competition. Oh yeah. Well in there. James has gone and got him a pony now. Yeah. So he they're gonna have to contend with him in two different divisions. And that's when the men start saying, well it won't be long before he'll be up here riding against us. Yes. Georgia, Florida line, and Robert. Now, Robert was tickled to death with, with what we did. Yeah. But in between him and Knox, that horse was a winner in open and amateur. Kind of like Jeremy and some of the other riders that rides Virginia's horses. Yeah. Win both of them. Right here's the queen bee. This is the queen of the show. She's limitless in Molly Walter, your amateur specialty division. She got her a world grand championship this year. And horse of the year, what more could you ask for? Yeah. And she was well deserved. That's what tickles you is when you see people and they win and, and you see the expression on their face. That's what it's all, all about. about. Jimmy McConnell told me one time, he said, you know, winning World Grand Championships are good, but when your amateurs win, he said, that's what's great. Yeah. And he's right. And it is. That means that you, that trainer is training that horse and he putting that horse in there to the best of his knowledge and the best of that rider can ride him and he can go out there and win and that make you feel a lot better that to you me train the horse. To mark of a great trainer. Yes, When you're going to train right. one, I can ride. We working on it. <laughs> we working on it. <laughs> well, I, said, I tell you what, we're going to take a short pause for our sponsors and we're going to come right back and Jerry's going to work on a horse to teach for me to ride and then we're going to go to an interview with Miss Virginia Stewart. We'll be right back. Why 
of each one. So uh, get your cat off from here, sit yourself with the rules. Want everybody to know the rules of the games we're here today? So, 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 Mark Yemsi, so, Jim Howdy, there's your black stud coat by I Am, three time world grand champion of the world, I Am Jose is his daddy. There's opportunity. The bid, 27, where you at, Mark? 26, 27, 27, last call, put it down to it, done. So, so, you bought it for 2600, 2600 here, and then 56 and a half. 5600, grab a minute five beer six, so 5500, you bought 5500, and so 1100, Mark Hall, take it, call 1100, you bought, so, 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 you break one, break the next one, that's the real deal, guys, right here, opportunity is knocking right here, Adam Johnson, here's a horse to take it home, I gotta say this, but so, 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 you bought it. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four times amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go to a very special lady that uh, has a lot of yard ornaments, and I mean a ton, but I got her cornered at the barn party, and uh, we sat and we talked about her horses, and especially the ones that Jeremy's going to ride, because yes. I think she's considering putting Jeremy in the state class on something. Yeah. Oh, she the way she was talking, she was talking about unleashed and then uh, uh, honors to Mr. Guest for putting a tail set back on. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's a, that's a bad. That cat, is buddy. a good horse. That's a real good horse. Well, let's go to uh, listen to the, the interview we've got with Miss Virginia Stewart. We're at Evergreen Walking Horse Farms Christmas party, and I am sitting here with Miss Virginia Stewart, who has several horses here. So many we had to write them down on a piece of paper. <laughs> For me to remember them all. How many, how many we got, Virginia? Eight. <laughs> Eight horses. How long, how long have you been in the walking horse industry? About 30 years. 30 years. I was in it in Louisiana for about eight or nine years before we moved up here. And what year did you buy Golden Sovereign? Oh, you shouldn't ask me those kind of questions. I've had him about... Well, you won a world grand championship that year. A world championship. Champ world championship that year. I was this close to the world grand championship, and he started the canter. <laughs> Maybe he thought it was a canter class. <laughs> he he thought he was in the state class. That's what it was. <laughs> he was he was going for the big for the roses. He's won a couple of championships. So oh, well, he has won. I think I counted it up one time, and I'll have to relook before I stick my foot in my mouth because over fifty. It's closer to 70 yeah. classes. I think 70 it's 73 something. total classes, best I remember. It's over 70, yeah. yeah. And then, but there are several world championships, world grand championships, and I mean, he is, uh, and then he went to the breeding bar. And now he's in luxury stall right down the hall, so. He's 24 years old now. That, that's classic all the way, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> He's been a wonderful, um, wonderful horse. All right, now, then we've got, uh, which one's this? That's Tidal Defense. Tidal Defense. That's the one Samantha shows. Yeah, like. yeah. Now she, You know, she does a great job. She does a real horse. good job. And he, sometimes, I'm going to say it, they can get mad at me if they want to, sometimes she's second or third when she ought to be first. I've said that a bunch of times because she can ride that horse. I'll agree with you. <laughs> she, she won't disagree with me. We're getting on the road now. But now, that, that is a real good horse. An yeah. excellent horse. And then you got A-Rod. Got A-Rod. Now, he, he, he showed out of different barns. I know, didn't Kenny Smith have him for a while? Kenny Smith had him for several years, and his daughter won two world championships that's what, with that's him. That's what I was thinking, that she, had, that she had won quite a bit on him. And then... They had sold him, and a man in East Tennessee ended up with him. And 
I bought him back. <laughs> you loved him and brought him home. <laughs> I raised the little fellow, yeah. so I brought him back. <laughs> well, I don't blame him. And then we've got Doral. Doral. Now that one, he has been. He was with uh, Chad Williams. Yeah. Did real well. Yeah. And he, he continues to do well. Yes, he does. I've, I've seen him at several shows to where he was. But you don't ride any of them anymore, though, right? I haven't ridden in 10 years. It's but one heard, of those I'm going to do. I, I heard you and Lucky <laughs> talking about it. Mm -hmm. Well, you can always, if nothing else, you can always ride around your pasture. You know that, don't you? Get you a flat shot and just go trail riding. And Debbie Eichler goes trail riding all the time Does on she? her farm. There's I keep telling that, Jeff I'm going to um, come out and he's got to put me on a horse, and I just don't get it done. Well, I'm, I'm sure he would. He will. All right, let's go on down the line. We've got uh, Brother Vengeance. Now, who, who shows that one for you, mostly? Yeah. Jeremy has been Jer Jeremy great. does a good yeah. job of showing horses. Yeah. Then we've got Unleashed. Unleashed. Now, Unleashed didn't show in 2022, did he? No, he didn't. He's had an ankle problem that we're working on. Well, I know he, he's made several great shows. Yes, he has. Won several blue ribbons. Yes, he has. And he, he has done, he, he's done outstanding in the past. But um, we're working on his ankles and he's getting better. Well, that's the only thing that matters as long as they get better. As long as you can take care of them and let them run, get a little exercise, they can come on. Then who are we going to talk about? Well, did we talk about Ritzy Hawk? Ritzy Hawk. Now yeah. that's the one that I believe Lane Leverett's Bobby daughter. Black, Bobby, uh, Robbie Black's daughter. daughter, Lane Leverett's stepdaughter, shows. Yeah. Now she does a good job. She with does, him. and she's only like 14 or so. But no, she, she's 14. I believe she's. I believe that's right. I believe she's 14 like years that, old. She's done a real good job. She's a good rider. Samantha mm -hmm. will ride Ritzy Hawk every now and then. Just daughter Samantha. Mm -hmm. But, well, I know uh, that she does a great job, especially on title defense. Now she she's done outstanding. She makes she's just a good job. She is very good. She, she's like her mother. Her mother could really ride well. <laughs> she can too, of course. Jeff can too. Okay, here's one that I really like though. Honors to Mr. Guess. Yeah. Honors to Mr. Guess. Jeremy Jensen rides the Evergreen Walking Horse Farm Entry of Bellbuckle. Honors to Mr. Guess and Jeremy Jensen to the blue. Taking a look at honors to Mr. Guest and Jeremy Jensen, your Riders Cup Show Pleasure winner. Now tell tell the story about why honors to Mr. Guess is so important to you. Well his name was Honors to Skywatch when I bought him. And he's a very nice horse and I changed it to honors to Mr. Guess because Mr. Guess was my grandfather and thanks to him I'm able to do a lot of this. Well I know it, it, it anytime someone names a horse after you, it, it's, got, it's got meaning yeah. and purpose. And we just got through talking about Jeremy and here he is. If, go, come in here and sit down with us. Come sit down Jeremy. Jeremy has done a super good job for me. Oh, yeah. he, he is really yeah. real good. Tell, tell us about riding honors, Mr. Guest. Fantastic horse. I love riding them. I'm just thankful for the opportunity that you let me show him. Well, I'm thankful that you're showing him and you're doing a super job. Yes, man. He's a, he's a great horse, though. So he is. You can tell that. I mean, he rears backs and goes after it. Mm -hmm. Got a great flat walk and got good timing. And That's one thing I notice about him. It's the timing. And easy and the longer he goes, the better he gets. He just, it's a great horse in my opinion. We may, now they may disagree with me, but we may try to 
up him and put, you know, tail set on him and get him out of the show pleasure class and see how. But he's done so good in show pleasure, they may argue with me and say, let's leave him there. But we he ain't going to argue with you. Yeah, it's whatever she wants to do. <laughs> I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna follow. Go, go for it. Go for it. He's been a great rider, though. He's just been super. He's a nice young man, too. Well, I've got one down there that, that I'm right proud of the way he does a good job with sir. I'm gonna have to say he does a real good job with sir. Tickled to death. His daddy doesn't fuss on him or nothing. Just lets him get out there and do his thing. That's the main thing. You know he's doing it right. If Jerry, if Jerry's quiet, everything's cool. If Jerry ain't quiet, everything ain't cool. <laughs> That's the way it works. Uh, but, he's but a I'll, good rider, though. He's a good rider. Oh yeah. Well, now, what are we working on now for next year? We got a bunch. We got some two-year-olds, three-year-olds. Got all Miss Virginia's horses that we're going to show next year. A bunch of them. Gonna get get it done, mm -hmm. huh? Got a bunch of stuff. We're hopefully gonna get unle is it unleashed back riding again, mm -hmm. going again. That'd be a steak horse. Well, Dorel, Dorel. Dorel's. Yeah, yep, he's ready. Yeah. He's ready to be a steak horse. I showed Dorel a couple times this year. I had fun. Dorel's a great horse. Samantha's done great on Dorel this year too. Yeah. Well, he, he's a, he's a good horse. Has been from day one. Mm -hmm. A real good horse. Well, I guess we have covered every horse we got. <laughs> Which is too many. <laughs> Which is, well, no, for, for you, for me, it's too many. For you, it's not too many. We, we need to sell her a couple more. Anybody got a horse for sale in here? No, we're not buying another horse. <laughs> well, Virginia, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. And, Jeremy, I'm glad you stopped in. Thank can, you. can I add one quick thing? You go right ahead. If somebody's talking about the pasture ornaments a little mm. while ago. I get more compliments about people going up saying, oh, we love to ride past the horse and look out there in the pasture and look at the horses. My joke is, I keep telling people, I'm going to put a glass jar out by the mailbox. And let them make donations. And if they want to drop five dollars <laughs> in, <laughs> help me feed them. That'd be something to do. I tell you what, what more can you ask? That's for? right. She pretty much told it like it yes. is. Mm -hmm. She uh, she did ask for donations out there for if anybody wants to watch her horses. She's taking five dollar <laughs> donations. I told her I'd give her a dollar. That's all. I, <laughs> I, I didn't have a bunch of money, but I put a dollar in the kitty. I'd hate to have to feed all her horses. But uh, she got a bunch I, of them. Well, I noticed I went down there and looked at Golden Sovereign in his stall, and he doesn't look like he's hurting for anything. No, uh -uh. he's just having a good time. But Jerry, that about does it for this week's show. Yes, sir. But uh, again, I want to wish you a happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And uh, congratulations, it. you and your wife. I don't know how she puts up with you, but every I don't she know did. either. But she's a good woman. But, but just remember, yes, ma'am. That's right. Yes. All right. We'll see all y'all next week. See you later. <laughs>